Hello guys, welcome back in a new video. I'm Simone and today I will show you how I made a Sombra machine pistol. And I will have a big giveaway that will include this prop and some uh, filaments for 3D printing provided by From Futura later in the video. This 3D model was completely done on my Twitch channel. I started to trace all the pistol from the blueprint that Svetlana from Kamoi Cosplay provided me. If you're interested to use the blueprint, I will leave the link in the description. After I traced most of the parts, I started to extrude them and add all the detail, trying to replicate perfectly the model from the video games. This took me a good amount of hours, but I was really happy with the final result of the model. If you have a 3D printer and you want to print uh, this design, you will find the 3D model on my Patreon. Next step was to 3D print all the parts. I loaded the parts in Simplified 3D and I decided to use a 0.1 and 0.15 layer height with 20 and 25% in fill. I picked this layer resolution to speed up the post-processing later, in particular the sending step, even if that will require more time for printing each part. If you will use a 0.2 layer height, it will take around 22 hours to print all the parts. I loaded on my Ultimaker 2 Plus the new RPLA reform filaments from Fon Futura. This filament is pretty amazing, prints really easily, is cheaper and is 100% recycled filaments and have cardboard spools. I printed the strip on the side with Filaflex, so it will be flexible and it will not break if I need to ship the, the prop. If you are interested on buying some filaments from Fon Futura, you will find a 15% discount code in the description that will give a little kickback to the channel. Now I'm ready to start to print all the parts and do a nice time lapse. Hope you enjoyed the time lapse of the print. Now it's time to post processing all uh, the parts. And keep in mind, all the products uh, that I will use uh, will be listed in the description. So if you want to buy them, you will find them there. First step is sanding with a 80 grit sandpaper. This will help to remove and smooth the layer on each part. Take your time and try to sand well all the parts. When you're happy with the result, clean each individual piece to avoid to have some dust on it. Now we will use some filler primer that will make sure to fill all the little imperfections. All the time that you will use a spray can of paint you will need to have a respirator and if possible gloves. I unfortunately didn't have gloves uh, when I was doing this project but I really recommend them. I give two coats of primer on each piece and make sure to let it dry well before proceed to the next step. When it's all uh, dry perfectly, I took a tray, fill it uh, with some water and proceed to wet sanding everything with 240 grit sandpaper. Again, take enough time to make sure that all the parts feel really smooth. This process can require a lot of time. I think I did over 20-25 hours of sanding and wet sanding to be sure that I was happy with their surface quality. While I'm sanding all these parts, I want to take a second to thank all my Patreon members. New Patreon of the month are Nathan and Jason. Thank you for the, your support, you guys are amazing. I really appreciate all the support that you guys give me and let me able to create more amazing content. If you want to find out how you can support the channel or have access at my models, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description. Like always, this is optional. After all the parts are dry, I decide to put together the main body of the pistol. I use some super glue and epoxy for this purpose and I let it dry the glue for 15-20 minutes. I designed this gun to be able to spend less time possible on filling gaps. Indeed, you will only need to fill a gap in the center of this part. I use in particular a product called Milliput. This epoxy putty is simple to use and become hard in 2-3 hours, so you will are able to sand it and cover the gaps perfectly. Finally, it's time to paint the pistol. I used a grey primer and give two coats of it to all my parts. 
make sure that your space is clean and you don't have dust around or it will mess up your surface quality and you should probably go back on sending them. I decided to 3D design and 3D print a spinner table so it will make more easy to paint each part using the airbrush. First color that I picked was a black. This color it will be applied on all the pieces that of course need to be black but two on all the parts that will be painted with the gun metal acrylic. I let dry the black and proceed to paint all the parts that will require a gun metal color. Make sure to mask with masking tape all the parts that don't need to be painted. Now I make sure to remove the tape later when everything is really well dry to avoid to pull with the tape some of the paint. Next color was ultramarine blue for the front and the back part and then some small parts using a royal purple and gold paint. Now that everything is painted properly we need to assemble everything, always using some super glue and epoxy. I proceed step by step starting to put together only some of the piece and let the glue dry for at least 20 minutes. This step can require at least one to hour but will make the prop really solid and strong if well done. It's almost ready, we need to add some little more detail to make it more realistic. For this reason I decided to commission on a local shop to make me some white vinyl stickers of the logo and text that you can find on the back blue part and this little detail make the gun look really amazing. To seal all the prop I use some nice varnish that will protect the paint and the stickers. Well, I think this is my favorite project until today was really nice to design this model and I think I improved a lot my skill in the post-processing. At the end of the video you will be able to find some photos and video of this gun and of course you will find them too on all my socials. It's time for another giveaway. The amazing guys from Fun Futura decided to provide me 8 spool of the new material reform in RPLA, AirPet and Air Titan. I will be able to pick 4 people and each one will receive 2 spool. One of the person will be picked from my Patreon. I decided to add another prize that is a fully 3D printed Sombra machine pistol kit unpainted. To enter in the giveaway is super easy, just follow the link in the description and follow the instruction on the website. The only real, real requirements is to be subscribed to the channel and follow Fon Futura and myself on Twitter. You will have, like always, some optional entries that could increase your chance to win one of these amazing prizes. I hope you really like these uh, projects and maybe you will try to make one or, ma or use this information to make uh, another project. If you enjoyed this video, please smash that like button and if you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments. I always try to reply to everyone. And if I don't reply, try to hit me on Twitter. I'm quite active on social. For today is everything. I'm working on four projects at the same time. And uh, so a lot of more video will come soon. See ya at the next video. And remember, raise your eyebrow.